Okay, so we're making rosettes. I made them in high school and this looks very much exactly like the set we had back then. I'm sure it's way better though. I'm thinking the one I had back then was aluminum and Feels good. And the kids are yelling on the thing. Great. Ready. I'm going to wash these up and get those ready. Because. Because. Because of the wonderful things he does. It's the 12 days of cookies. You don't have to know. It's the 12 days of cookies. days of cookies? <laughs> I'm making rosettes, not pizzelles. Two farm fresh eggs. Milk. Cookies. We're making cookies. She's got her Good Times Homestead shirt on. It's not mine, but I did find it. Whose is it? Mm. I mean, you don't know. Let me see. This? All right, slightly beat eggs in a medium bowl, mix in sugar and milk, sift flour with salt, stir into a mixture and beat until smooth, about the consistency of heavy cream, mix in extract to incorporate a transfer powder to a shallow dish. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Then you need two inches of oil in a skillet to 325. Immerse the rosette mold into the hot oil until thoroughly heated and blot excess oil off rosette molds. Dip hot molds in a dish filled with batter so that batter covers all but the top of the rosette molds. Immerse again in hot oil, covering completely. Remove from oil and bubbling ends and pastry is golden brown. Slip rosettes off the mold, gently tapping should the pastry stick. If rosettes fall off into oil, let sit until golden brown and remove with fork. When rosettes are cool, sprinkle with powdered sugar and serve. Makes approximately 45 to 50. Oh, we're going to be here a minute. Yeah. All right, and we're supposed to let the the batter refrigerate for two hours before we make them. What? Don't touch the eggs. I just want to see it. Okay. Don't touch them. I got to wash them before <laughs> we use them. But I'm not going to wash all of them, just the two that we use. And these are the freshest that we just got today from the girls. So we're going to use these two over here because we've been adding them like that. I'm going to take two out and wash them. Ah, ah, ah. Mm. Nope, I got to No. You got to go wash your hands. <laughs> make. Ah. Ready to make. Hold on. Well, I'm going to make it in this bowl right here, okay? Can I crack one? No. Why? We've seen you crack <laughs> eggs. <laughs> 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 I just want to try to do it. No! Please. No, we don't. Those are all the eggs we have. Okay? Good. Yes. Why well, I just want to learn this one? Well, yeah. You crack it into a different bowl to make sure that it's not bad. Anna. You can whisk. You're going to whisk. You're going to whisk. But you can't pull this bowl and I don't I can't have you whining the whole time because then I have to edit so much. Okay? okay. No whining? I'm so I know. Here's the tiny one. Well, I have a tinier one, but it's downstairs. But I can use this one. Mm -hmm. This is easy. Yeah. I haven't used this before. Okay, hold the handle with your hand. Mm -hmm. Keep it, keep it not by the edge. Mix, 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 mix. Okay. Oh, I wanted to show the green onions that we popped in water for our hot and sour soup. <laughs> Free green onions. So they're not walking onions. No, these are not walking onions. These are regular green onions. And I could plant them and grow more onions and seed heads and flowers 
onion flowers that whisked. Okay, whisk it up. Does it need to be golden? It needs to be golden, yes. Eggs, sugar, milk. Eggs. One, one cup of milk and two teaspoons of sugar. Here's the sugar, whiskey whisk, two teaspoons. And keep it low, keep it down, keep it slow. Here's a cup of milk. We are using oat milk. You can use whatever milk you like. Mm. I taste delicious. Don't taste it yet. I'm not. Okay. But, it, but the cookie will. Sure. And one cup of sifted flour. <laughs> For me. Hmm? To me. To, to whisk. Mm -hmm. But first I'm going to sift a cup of flour. A cup of sifted flour, not one cup of flour sifted. You know the difference? Ooh. Careful. Look. Mm -hmm. Is that enough mess? Mess. So I'm going to sift a keep whisking unleveled cup of flour. That's good. Keep it right there. Bring it over here. Oh, keep that down. Okay. Like, um, automatic. I'm what? Automatic? Yeah, here. You're like automatic. Mm. I want to make sure it fits on. flour and then sifted makes more than a cup of flour not sifted. I'm making it some smooth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Give it slowly a mix, please. Okay. Okay, we had two teaspoons of sugar, two eggs, one cup of milk, one cup of sifted flour. Oops, I forgot to sift a quarter teaspoon of salt into the flour. That's okay. Mix it nice and slow. teaspoon. The cookies are going to taste delicious. Mm -hmm. Scraping all the flour down. Yep. Look, Mommy. Check. Oh, it looks so bumpy. Let me see. Can I give it a mix? I'm gonna give it a mix and put it in the fridge, okay? okay. I'm not so fast as you. That's okay. <laughs> Ooh, the vanilla. Now the vanilla's tricky because the vanilla's heavy. Needs to be oh, smooth. Give it back. I'm putting the vanilla in. I mix it. In just a second. Let me taste. Just a Is it gonna make it dark? Teaspoon. Uh, I don't know. Hey. Oh, I smell it. I know. Mm. All right, let's put it in the fridge. Smell it. Smells good. Smells good. Come on, let go of it. We don't want to mix it too much. All right, put that in the fridge. It's gonna taste delicious. Mm -hmm. The cookies. Well, it's gonna be a minute before we have the cookies. Yeah. It's perfect. 
Didn't have any plastic wrap, so I'm sticking it in a Ziploc. Ma'am, 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 sir, ma'ams and sirs, yeah. <laughs> that was so cool. Chicken. I hear something. I hear something. Any clothes? What? Are you joking or do you, are you repeating what I said wrong? That's what you said. I said you're not serious about me buying you clothes. Only for exactly this. <laughs> Every day I forget to talk accent. <laughs> you don't have to think about talking with an accent. It will happen naturally. Now comes the tricky part. Heating up oil and <laughs> cooking them. So we're gonna try it. This one. That looks good. I'm probably not gonna make 50 cookies. I don't have any cheap oil. Oil, avocado oil. It's not two inches, it's like half an inch. Maybe I use the wok and then I'll have a deeper place. Hmm. So, yeah, with the wok, if you have a shallower bottom, then I'll be able to get a deeper fry. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Mm -hmm. We want 350 degrees, which is like almost the max on this one. But you don't want this to touch the bottom of the pot. I got this one, which sounds like it's running out of battery. This is meat thermometer, pork, fish, beef, veal. Tells you what it should get to, poultry. Lamb. I don't know if this one will go to 350 degrees. So we'll use the candy thermometer. I'm not gonna keep it at 350. What's the trick? Tell me, tell me now. How do I keep it at 350? All right, here goes nothing. Is gonna smoke up the house. Don't put it all the way in. It didn't stick at all. Oops, a daisy. Oh, yeah. Ooh, and a little bit of batter. Get some popping action.
smells delicious. Oh, yeah. leaving it in the oil just enough till I see it turn a little golden. Ooh. Get the oil back in there. Pop it off a little. And keep on going. Oh, this is fun. I remember this. It smells so good. And then we'll dust them with powdered sugar once they cool off. Otherwise, it'll just melt right in and dissolve, and you won't see it. So we'll wait till they cool off a little bit. Mmm. I'm going to check my temperature on my oil, and then the next one I'm going to count and see how long it takes. You probably already know because you're watching a video that has a timer on it. But I don't know. But check the temperature. It's going good. Looks like about 25 seconds. A couple more and then we'll switch shapes. I think this is the shape of the classic Bunuelo. Ooh, took it out. And I'm holding it under the oil so that it gets in 
inside all the nooks and crannies. This one might come off all the way. If it comes off all the way, you just scoop it out with a strainer or a fork. You can use chopsticks, wooden chopsticks, not plastic. <laughs> that would be bad. That one didn't stick all the way around. Either my iron wasn't hot enough, or something. I didn't hold it in to the batter long enough, or I held it in too short. It's very tricky. These came out perfect. My first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven came out perfect. going to taste just fine. Right. After this one, we're going to make some stars. I better be recording. Is all I have to say about that. I better be recording. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh. People would say, Jen, you bought those cookies at the store. Switch it. Now this is hot, so be careful. This is why I didn't want to switch, but I gotta make some stars. So I'm gonna use a paper towel and uh, take it off. Oh, it's hot. Make sure it's on tight, make sure it's not wet. Guess what? I am not left-handed. Name the movie.
if you lift it up, it releases. And then you got to scoop it out. And it also spreads out. So if you want really wide cookies, I guess you could do that. This star is going to be a little wider. A little puffed out. Mm -hmm. Again, it'll taste just fine. So I'm sticking it in the batter until I hear the sizzle go away, and then I'm putting it in the oil. That seems to be working pretty good. I've had a good stick to the iron ratio rate. A lot of people say, or I've run across uh, a lot of questions like, how, how do I get it to stick to the iron? It's falling off. My batter's falling off. So it, you want it to cook onto the iron just enough because it's the iron is hot. Before you lift it, otherwise it'll just slide back into this. Uh oh, now we're gonna see what happens when it goes up over the top of your iron. Oh, maybe not, it released itself. Awesome, you're so smart, iron. Oh, it's coming up through the star holes. It's coming up through the crannies. This one's gonna be weird, but delicious. Again, delicious. And even though I'm using vanilla, I never checked to make sure I was recording. Oh, thank goodness. Whew. Even though I'm using vanilla from Lazy Days Ahead with Jesse and Lisa, Jesse, I'm not gonna be able to send you these cookies. I don't think they would travel well. That didn't work. Batter a mix. All right. Something going on. Too much oil in my batter, maybe? From sliding off of the iron? You just gotta focus. You just gotta focus. One thing at a time. No multitasking, no checking cameras, no talking about lazy days ahead with Jesse and Lisa. None of that. No talking about CNC Farm. No talking about Ashley. No talking about the 12 days of cookies. Ooh. Oh. Whee. A perfect run. Oh yeah, this is gonna make a lot of cookies. Oh, see, that didn't work. Maybe, oh no. Right, I'm going for a full donk, here we go. Ow, it's getting me. Ah, little blobbies. So, what not to do? Dunk the iron all the way under the batter. Ooh, I got some. It's starting to cook in my batter bowl here when I put the iron in. So I might be leaving it in too long. I might want to switch back to that flour. I had 
good luck with that flower shape. Bits and bits and bits. Mm, I think we need a little more oil. But I shouldn't need more oil. I should just not have to go on top of the structure here now. It's totally encased and I have to scrape it off. That is not what you want. But guess what? It's gonna be delicious. Try one more. And then we'll go to the last shape. Too much oil, maybe? Too much oil? Perfect. Ish. Can you believe I haven't tasted one yet? Oh, I can't. I gotta taste a warm one. These aren't warm at all. This smells so good. Get rid of this star that doesn't make stars. Here we go. Let's try. Oh, the bar is hot. Look at me. It's what? It's dry. It's dry. I don't know what you're doing. There's no moisture on that. No. Next one, I want to turn it out. So I'm cooking on a flat top stove and I'm keeping it at six, or slightly under six. That seems to be keeping it in between 300 and 350. And it seems to be cooking them great. And everything is wonderful. And this one looks great. Oh yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. I don't know if you can see it open up once it gets in there. I could just lift it out right now. Yeah. Let's get some close-ups. Mm -hmm. 25 minutes. So you want to get it like that. If your oil is low, you just give it a flip. This is where those donut sticks, I've got giant chopsticks. Oh, I didn't put it back in the oil. Is it hot enough? Yes.
I zoomed you in so you can't see it. I did a no-no. I went up over the top. Batter is definitely starting to cook inside the bowl. And my oil is running a little low. On all the rest up until this one, I have not touched the bottom with it. Now I'm just letting it sit there. Because. I don't know. This seems to work. Get a little bit of extra crisp. My plate is full over here. I think I need to let the iron cool off a smidge before I put it in there because it's cooking it in the pot, in the batter bowl. And releasing, cooking, and then sliding right off. Much better. Still, I lost a little. Well, you saw it. The first seven were perfect. Whoa, that's a lot of batter. Yeah, I was trying something and it didn't work. Trying to double dunk. My hands are really, really moisturized. I should dunk some vegetables in this and make some tempura. I wonder what that would taste like. Hmm. It's basically tempura. Basically. Vanilla tempura. <laughs> tempura, 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 tempura.
like I work at Krispy Kreme or something. Chickens can have that one or not. How am I so oily? So you're going to get oily. Just letting you know. It's the fork. It's running off the fork. And then when you change them, I can smell it from upstairs. <laughs> Don't touch them. No! I barely just tried one little bite. That was the first thing I ever tasted of it. Can I bite? No. Not one? It's video. Bite? No. You have to put powdered sugar on them. Okay. It might pop in your face. It's hot oil. It's not fizz. Boiling. Hmm? If your iron is too hot and you stick it in there, it just cooks. Me? Yeah. No. I have taken a break. Alright, well, I'd like you to come see what I built. Yeah. 
shoes on. Amber, put shoes on. So you can come see what Daddy's done. <laughs> Wanna watch? Connor, come here. You can try one and say hi, I'm Steve. <laughs> they don't have powdered sugar on them yet. You wrote something. Guess what Connor's wrote on? Guess what Connor's Where are my gloves that you borrow? Um They're right here. Where do I want them? Back to Return to me. Stay right here. You're going to come with me and see what I've done since you left. Okay? Okay. Gotta wash my hands so I can taste something. How come Connor left? I would never have left building the Shire fence. I don't know. He gave up. What? I'm tired. Yeah. Ooh, it smells terrible. I'm going to. Make this a long ongoing project as limbs fall off the trees. Mm -hmm. So we can continue to add more to really enforce it, reinforce right. it, and make it a true okay. fort. Mm -hmm. But it's come all along. Cool. Like they're doing great. It. Don't, don't touch these, they're hot. I will. Before the sun goes down. She didn't put, she didn't put I sugar on them. I was going to put some powdered sugar on them. She didn't yet. Can we try it with, without the powdered sugar first? Yes. Hold okay. on. Which one do you want to try on? The stars. Hi, okay. I'm Steve. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Powder trigger. Mm hmm. I do say more things than I am, Steve. I'm not like Groot, but. <laughs> that was good. How is it, Ember? You good? Yeah. Bye. that have started to cook in here are clumpy. I'm just gonna make some yummy clumps.
just discovered the secret? Patting the oil off the iron? Hot? Yes, maybe. No. Mm. <laughs> Did you put sugar in it? Nope. Yeah. Could I? Um, the powdered sugar is in a jar up there in the cupboard. In this one? Yeah, that jar, that big jar right there. Be careful, please. Get a stool. Which big jar? There's one big jar of white. Just white. Filled Just, with white. Yeah. That. I can get that. No. No. See? Okay. I'm tall. Okay. We are down to the scrapings. Now, do I use a specific thing? Yes, you do. A tablespoon, I believe. No, you're going to get a, the, little, the little strainer. The little duster that I go tap tap tap, like sometimes I pour tea through it. It's on a it's on a handle and it's small. And it's nice. like no. It might be in the next drawer down. It looks like a colander on a stick and it's small. Um, it's a strainer and it's silver. This. Yeah. That's the one. Whoa, be careful. Do I Whoa. Get over? Whoa. Yes, but put the jar. No. Put the jar down. Get a spoon. And then you're going to tap ah, the spoon right. into the sifter. Right. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll just dump powdered sugar everywhere. on everything. Now, you got to give it a little tap. Like this. Nope. Nope. No. 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 Like this. Oh, no, like you have that. too much. Got it. Got it. Hold on. Can I? Here. That's because, um. yeah, I know. Here you go. I'll put this one over here. Don't put powdered sugar on that, it'll melt. Now, it's time. Just make blobbies. Blobbies? Uh -huh. Careful. Watch out, watch out. Must use all. Must use all the better. No, must use all the sugar. No. That's in the sifter. Mm. Well, cookies. wait a minute, because you're only doing the top layer of cookies. Look so, at the cookies. I know. Well, look at them. I can't. They look great. Hey, just a second. I want to try it. Maybe you no, try we need it. to get your 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 artistic handiwork. On the camera, I'm trying to flip these. Careful. No, no. 
Yeah, move. Don't do that. Please put that down. It's all one kick. No, you're, no. You're not obeying the chef. You're the sous chef. You do what I say. You say yes, chef. And if you do something different, you get kicked out of the kitchen. Right? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Quit touching them. Why are you yes, touching them? Come here. Missed some spots because they were overlapping. So, do I so, lift these a little bit? Just, just pick that up. Just pick it up. No, no. Yes. Tap, tap, tap. Good. Mm -hmm. That's him. That one. Okay. Continue on to this plate. There you go. Rosettes. In 53 minutes, just like it said. Woohoo! Mm. We're still looking at you. I can't compete. Can I show it, please? Minecraft. Nope. Hang on just a second. I'm doing the end of the video. Mm. I want to try it in the video. Those are really good. No one with powdered sugar, man? Sure. Mm-hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, man. Mm. Mm. Where's your cake taste tonight? That's delicious. It is delicious. <laughs> now I'm recording. Are they good? Is that it? Can you get this, please? Now push more over here. I'll, I'll, I'll start licking the plate. I know. They're really, 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 really good.